Okay, we're recording, we're live. Thank you. This is the Facilities and Property Management Committee, Wednesday, the 26th of April, 9 a.m. Uh, my name is Jim Weiss. I'm the chairman, uh, the vice chairman, I'm sorry. Curtis. What is it called? Yeah. <laughs> I should know that. Oh, right. Vice chair of this committee. Uh, uh, first thing is the uh, approval of minutes of the March 22nd, 2023. I'll make a motion to accept your minutes. A second. I'll second. Any questions, changes, anything we need to discuss? All those in favor say aye. 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 May, if, if you're going to agree with it. Okay, correspondence shared by committee members. Do you have anything? Okay, I'll add one. Um, I'm the chair also on the uh, per diem um, ad hoc committee, not committee, I'm sorry, task force. Get it right there. Uh, we are looking at it. Uh, we're going to be uh, hopefully getting in uh, a ordinance to change some of the regulations where Madison pretty much determined what we we're going to do as far as for DME salaries and things like that for the committee or for the commission of the supervisor board. So <clears throat> they're, they're working on that. Uh, there's going to be, uh, they have approved uh, this uh, task force has approved a ordinance change to uh, go to a self governance situation. And then you have to do that in order to make some of the changes with for DMs or salaries of some of the, the members of the board. So anyway, that is going in front of judiciary tomorrow. So, so, uh, soon, Monday, or, Monday. Monday. Okay, they're going to go look at it and see where it goes, and it may come to the board very quickly thereafter. I hope so. Anyway, that will affect us folks here. It's on the agenda, I believe. So we put on on May second, so whatever it is. Oh, okay. You go ahead. And Presentation, I believe your name's on it to get the I heard that rumor. <laughs> yes. Oh. Uh, yeah, and I <laughs> I made sure Marianne's gonna be there. So <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that that is coming up. I just want to let you know where we're at on it. Any other correspondent here? Okay. Public input. Do we have anybody? We have nobody on Zoom. I'll just check one more time. No. Hearing none. First item on here of uh, uh, discussion, first discussion item. Approval of facilities discussion and approval, facilities naming policy. Well, what, a month or two ago, I gave you a rough draft of something I developed um, way back when Mark Harris was here in 2003. You've asked to have it back on, on the agenda and with an approval part of it so that you could make any kind of decisions that you've got. But being as how it's a policy, um, that kind of falls in, in your lap. I don't know how you want to address that or um, how it gets implemented as a policy for the county, um, whether it gets into the book of ordinances or do we have a, a policy manual that is policies from the county board um, rather than an ordinance? Um, because, you know, I, and I just as a, person who's been here for a while, once it's in the ordinance, it becomes difficult to make administrative changes to it. Then it's got to go back before all the committees and back before the county board. So um, I don't know what kind of what more information or anything that you would like for it. Um, we looked at it last month, I think. Yeah. Yeah, and it was just something that you all wanted to be revisiting. It seemed pretty good to me, just clients we had that I know that. Okay. I thought it was, I mean, we should look at it formally. And I think that's what this was, this is here for. Um, you know, I don't really have anything more to add. Um, it seems to me that we're having more and more buildings and offices or rooms um, being named for people. Um, and we should probably be consistent. Um, Consistency. The only thing I would caution is, we need to be careful how we do things because there's a lot of organizations and monuments and buildings that are having names changed because of 
a lot of things that have gone on in, in the past. So it, it um, you know, you, you might want to have some kind of vetting process to make sure that we don't um, do something that maybe has to be undone in the future. Okay. Have you sent that out to everybody? I don't know. Yeah, yes. Yeah. No, I think I had the wrong address for you. In one month, we didn't get it. I can see if I've got it on my desk and I can give you a copy. Okay. And if, John, if you would like a copy, I can give you a copy too. Doesn't matter to me. Okay. Um, well, I can I can look after after okay. the meeting or I don't know if I can see my outfit. I'd like another copy too, please. Yeah, I'll, I don't think I got it. I don't think we got one. Then I guess I'll get print one copy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's probably a good one. I personally think I don't know, but um, I think that it goes before the committee and it has to go before the whole board. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yes. I don't think mm -hmm. that it just yeah. goes into a policy or anything like that. Yeah. Or we can just make full changes. Mm -hmm. um, I think we've got to be awful careful on it. Um, Stuart, where the name's up, he's probably deserves one as much as anyone. Mm -hmm. But uh, now we had another supervisor that's passed away 20 some years. Is he entitled to one? You know, there could be arguments both ways on that. Mm -hmm. We did have a um, Pass County executive that uh, someone wanted to name the Whitman Airport after him. That failed. And he was still there in that. So, uh, you know, it can go either way. So I personally think there's got to be a policy before they're even considered. Mm -hmm. Then after that, then you got to also realize um, David W. Albert building now, who's paying for the letters to be put on the side of the building? I, I voted in favor of it. I, I would again, but mm -hmm. all this that goes after it too, it isn't just name tape. Somebody's got to go well, ahead. Who does pay for that sign? <laughs> well, it, it would come out of my budget. Facility budget. Right. Oh, yeah. facilities budget. Oh, facilities budget. <laughs> Uh, I do have uh, a couple of questions because when, when you're really pervy to it, again, it's, it's not sure, the role of the executives, it's more of a board function. But um, was the policy you're considering was an automatically named somebody after it was more of a threshold that you have to cross to get uh, have the ability to be named after something? Well, that's what we've been kind of talking yeah. about. I don't hold this automatically, right? Okay. But to me, that's it should be an automatic, right? Way, but yeah. here again, if you set a policy, and you've been here so many years. Mm -hmm. Why shouldn't I? Because I've been there so many years. <laughs> you know, so you start that, then it's yep. going to go back and forth. Um, so we got to be awful careful on how we do this and, and the wording of it. And the wording and and you know just because they're here is it so many years or is it because of what they've done? Um, you're getting David Albert. I was all for it, this and that. But when it, the way it was introduced, it was his main reason is because he was there, and his biggest thing was bringing in the Chromebooks. Well, you know, is that the biggest thing that should have been just to be brought in the Chromebooks? Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, exactly. That. Yeah. Did Did uh, you guys look at uh, naming policies in, in other counties? No, I we, kind of did, and I kind of rolled them all into the draft that I did in two thousand three. Um. And it's, um, like I said, it's not gone anywhere. Okay. Um. Simply because there was no real interest in it because um, we weren't really naming anybody. Mike, do you know where, where they have, are, are there uh, naming policies and board rules or ordinance? Do you, do you know I have you not have, found anything. That's why we anything. started looking at this with um, Mr. Harris back in, in 2003. I just want to make sure that as this process goes forward, that we're doing our job to make sure it's going to the committees and yes, we're doing exactly. the right, put in the right spot. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, and it's, you know, and, and I, I mentioned it to Marianne, like we're, it's not really, is it an ordinance or is it a policy? And, and right. where does it really go in the county operations documentation exactly. to be to be proper because like I said when you guys make an ordinance it can be difficult to make administrative changes to ordinance because it's got to go before all the committees um and and go for a vote if it's just a policy on something like a, how we're going to name a building maybe it doesn't need that kind of scrutiny um but we want to make sure we don't clutter up our ordinances with administrative stuff. Um, the ordinances, I 
and I'm I'm speaking what I'm thinking. Right. I, I don't want to put words in right. in anybody's yeah. mouth, but yeah. as somebody, you know, it's it's like a speed limit is an ordinance, something that you enforce. Mm -hmm. A naming policy is not really something that you enforce. No, it's just a way that you're going to do business. Mm -hmm. So um, hopefully, it printed. Well, would we want to do this? Discuss this next time. Well, yes. Yeah, we should read it. Has to read it. Hopefully, then, yeah. we have a full board still in it. We voted on the mm -hmm. full board. I would think you know, maybe I can say. Thank you. Okay. This is good. Let's see. I think. Get one that's both sides for you. Yep. When you see that Andy gets a copy of that, too, please. Oh, you bet. When you see that Andy gets a copy of that. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to put it on for next morning. Then. Unless okay. there's any other discussions on that? I think we got a little very careful on that. I, I, really I do too. Yeah. I, um, Consistency and make sure that we. And, and pretty soon, are we going to start naming rooms? Mm -hmm. Right. No, that would be the next well, that thing. Well, that's the thing with Right. Yeah. yeah. Are we going to be naming rooms? This building? Yes. We got dog park named in it. Yeah. We got a park. We got like park. Tree, yes. right. like trees. Just well, like, name a tree after you in this park. It's it's all, but not the whole park. And it's like, and I'm lighter than that. <laughs> lighting at the, yeah. That's all. Uh, Mike, I'll, I'll help out. I'll reach out to other colleagues and see what, what they have and where they um, have. I, I've done an internet search. Okay. So, I, unfortunately, that was, well, 20 years ago. Um, I don't think I downloaded the ones from it again. But, you know, yeah, we can, we can pull, I can pull my other counterparts and see if they have it. Um, what I have kind of found is it's kind of all over the board. Um, some of them are just real vague. Mm -hmm. Some of them are much more detailed. Yeah. Um, and it would be something that, like I said, you guys decide yeah. how you want to do it. And I, and I just think, you know, as Tom said, you probably want to vet who and how you're going to name it. Mm -hmm. um, just so that you don't get caught up in the controversy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, if I could add one more thing, uh, as far as the process goes, normally in, in other places where they do this, they, they wait for the person who's being named to be off the board or off the committee of the structured organization of that they're at. And yeah. uh, as much as I appreciate Supervisor Albrecht mm -hmm. and his service, I think we put him in an uncomfortable spot yeah. uh, when we did that uh, on the board. Yeah. Um, I think you. He was honored to have it. Eventually, he warmed up to it. I yeah. think when it first came up, uh, he was a little embarrassed by it. Right. Um, well, I think so. there's some consideration there, too. Yeah, I, I agree. I it should, should be. call him, though, before that yep. went, because I, it, David, I said, I know it's coming up. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. so I wanted to let him know because he was part of when the airport thing was mm -hmm. named before. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so. And he warmed up to it. And, and even uh, uh, Jerry Finch Dog Park, I mean, that, that, that didn't pass by a lot. No. You know, and, and how long he had worked on it for years. Right. And 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 what would we have done to, to Jerry Finch if, if that had failed um, on his last term? Yeah. Um, that, that would have been hard to yeah. swallow. But then all the southern part of the county that voted against the case. Oh, yeah. And then yeah. does that influence the decision, the fact that they're still there? Not it could mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, right. That's true. Okay, let's move on to number five for uh, discussion of responsible bidders, contractors, and county role. Um, I've reached out to some of my counterparts, and they really don't have much of a way to to do anything with it. They're pretty much in the same um, predicament that we are. Um, so I've reached out to General Services um, for the feds. Um, the state used to have a program where, where contractors were rated, um, and you get a score, mm -hmm. but they have since abandoned doing that. And I haven't seen, found anything that they do other than that. Um, I do know I showed you guys a couple of months ago that we do have a survey form that we're going to try and implement here and just do like an internal report card on contractors and, uh, just use that as documentation that we're not getting good service from, from them. 
Um, but one thing I I will say is, you know, having been on the contractor side, there's always those one projects that bite you in the butt that, you know, you can't really grade one, one a, a contractor based on one project. Yes. It becomes difficult. And the other thing is we have to work out legally or um, a fair way of when we say we don't want to do work with a contractor, it's like, is it next year or for the rest of that contractor's business life? Mm -hmm. um, and that becomes, um, that becomes difficult if you want to disqualify them from future bids for uh, forever. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. That becomes a little bit more uh, difficult to s support if they would make a legal challenge. So I'm walking through that minefield. Um, but so far, the one thing that I found that has really kind of, I'm trying to figure out how I can work that into our specs is it's called the, um, it's the EMR rating, which is the, and I can't, I don't know what EMR is basically your safety score with workman's compensation. Um, one is average. So what I have found is that the Department of Defense and some of the GSA contracts and some some states and everything <clears throat> require you to submit your EMR rating, but well, it's redundant. If you, you support your your that rating, and if you're higher than a 1.25, you're disqualified from the job. And and one of the things that is thought about that is if you have an unsatisfactory safety rating, then maybe your work is also unsatisfactory. Mm -hmm. um, you're taking shortcuts with safety. You're going to take shortcuts with the job. So one is average. Um, some of the policies I've seen has people um, having a an EMR of less than one, which means that you're above average um, for your safety rating. So I have to try and figure out how we're we're going to do that, how we're going to work it into our specs. Um, actually, there's a whole lot with our front end of our specs I would like to change. Um, simply from the last few years of experience. Um, but I gotta, I gotta work with, um, with uh, finance and purchasing on that. Um, and I know we've got a new purchasing agent starting in May. Um, or maybe she's here already, I'm not sure. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, so, you know, it's, it's kind of a tricky, tricky road to go down because there's um, there's a lot of contractors that have an overinflated opinion of themselves and sure. will challenge any kind of rules that we have with, with bidding. Yeah, I want to make sure that we're on the right side. Yeah. Of so, I, I, I would say that um, we're not the only county or organization in this uh, predicament that we're, that we're in. Um, and there are bills being considered. There's work being done in Madison um, or there are some some Texas that is issues. Oh, okay. I don't know if WCA would give you any feedback on it. Thank you. Um, not too much. Definitely. Yeah. Not too much. Madison definitely. You can check on it out next month. Andy, I'm sure, has a lot of information on that too. Well, when you're at the state level, there are a lot of things to consider. So you have to mm -hmm. take county government, you have to take city government, you have to take school districts. You know, that, oh, yeah. that's different. That's a little different. Um, even though it's, uh, they, have, they, they go referendums. Mm -hmm. so the, the way that they, projects are paid for or taxed are different. Mm -hmm. um, but they have to come up with something that, that addresses the bidding process through all these organizations. So okay. um, it's complicated. There'll be uh, a lot of different uh, Lobbying organizations that will be on board. There's a lot of people that have to kind of come together to agree to middle ground, and, and it's going to take some work. But I know they're they're putting the work in. Okay, let's move on to number six. If that's okay with everybody. Discussion of the Oshkosh Human Resources Building Elevator Controls Modernization. That we we guys you guys passed the additional funding last week. The contracts are signed. Um, I think they might be back already. Um, the materials are ordered, and as soon as we can get them in, we will get that taken care of. How long before the materials come? Because they is it a long time? 
I was told like two to three weeks. Oh, oh but that's we'll see. Nice. Okay. We'll see when I'm not gonna say we I go in until six months at all. Yeah. Um I'm not gonna say that we can I'm not gonna promise three weeks because people will tell you things just to oh, sure. keep you quiet. And then in three weeks when it's not there, then you call them up and say, Hey, I thought we were gonna go in three weeks. Um and say, Oh well, you know, we're slowed down. But yeah. Made the joke in the past about putting donkeys on the roof, whatever it takes to uh, right. pull that thing up and down. I may or may not have looked at how much donkeys cost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, all uh, right. So we'll have something more next month then on that. Do we, do we need to do anything more here? No, I don't think so. Okay, it's it's, it's, it's on autopilot right now. Okay. Then you see where you're at, maybe. Yeah, I know it's being the, uh, the final. Yeah. Uh, this, this document. The project document. Okay. You might want an update, though. So. Oh, okay. yeah, it'll still want update okay. next one. All right, let's put it on. Okay. okay. Uh, building assessment study. Uh, we started last week. We got through. <clears throat> now let me see if I can get it right. We got through the jail. We got through Oshkosh Human Services. Um, I think we got through one more building. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Um, so they are back there. They are taking a look at what they've collected. Um, and they should be back in another two weeks um to go through the next group of buildings, which gives me time to get the information together for those buildings. Okay. Um the one thing is, once we start getting out of the sphere of where we had influence, yeah. um, record keeping for the county is um, sporadic. So we've managed to collect drawings from like highways and, and we've gotten into their buildings to um, get like lists of equipment, but we're not into like all of the solid waste buildings. Um, we may not be into all of the parks buildings. Mm -hmm. um, and we're kind of moderately into the airport buildings. So we'll be re relying on those departments to have the lists. And um, I'm not sure how complete those lists will be. Uh, the experience has been, like I said, um, outside of our department is a little bit sporadic. One thing I can say is when, when McKinstry came here, they have so far been impressed with our record keeping and our records. Well, that's good. Um, so, that's one pat on my back. Yeah. When when we get the report cards, um, that pat might go backwards. <laughs> For now, yeah. Why well, would you have all the records tomorrow? Well, because because when I started here, we took care of seven buildings, and eventually we wormed our way into other buildings. I know your brother Bernie had done a study where all of the buildings should fall under our department, um, but. Mr. Harris chose not to do that. So we've just been, um, well, when, when we had some earlier highway commissioners, we were persona non grata out there. They wouldn't let us in the buildings at all. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you want to, and it was, the, it was the same with like the airport. Um, and as we started showing them that we could bring value to what they were doing, um, you know, for, for instance, the airport was paying like over a thousand dollars twice a year to bring August winters in to do their um, cooling tower maintenance. And in fall, all you do is you hose off the, the equipment and open up the drain valve and get rid of the water. That's not a thousand dollars. You know, um, we told them, you know, we can do it or we can show you guys how to do it and save money. Um, so it's it's been over the last, it'll be 25 years next May, We've wormed our ways into other departments just by showing that we can bring value to them and and help them keep their buildings up. So that's that's why we haven't gotten into it. We've not quite gotten into all the buildings yet. Um, we haven't quite been welcomed with open arms in all of them. So, how many total buildings in the study and how long is expected? Uh, they're going to have it done by early September. And... There's like 138 buildings we I, in the list I gave them. Wow. Um, but, you know, a lot of those buildings are, you know, simple hangers. Yeah. You know, there, there's a Modine unit, lights, and a steel structure. 
you know, so they can probably look at a dozen of them, you know, in half a day. Um, the jail, Parkview, um, are the really two big ones. And then you've got human services buildings, the two of them, the King building, the courthouse is a little bit bigger, but you know, it's, it's not much bigger than some of our other office buildings and they can get them done in a day. Um, but they go back and it takes them about two to three weeks to get the information um, understood into their report format. And then they spend time estimating what the lifespan is and what replacement cost would be. Um, and so, they update that. Yeah, and they will update that for three years without cost for us, um, which is one of the reasons why, you know, we chose McKinstry is um, they were the only firm that would provide us an ongoing service. Um, after the three years, then they will do it for a nominal subscription, which um, is going to be a load off our department and um, provide us more accurate estimates than what we can get. So, so that hopefully um, when we do our planning for capital projects or just normal maintenance, we have a better grasp on, on, on costs. Um, Are you doing depreciation too, or is it just replacement cost new? Uh, just replacement cost. Uh, I don't know exactly what model they're, they're using for it, okay. um, but they're- It's not reproduction cost, replacement? It would be replacement. It'd be like, um, yeah. But we'll, uh, right now, Nina needs to replace the boilers. Let's say in that, that job we've got going on right now, but if that was five years down the road, they would say, you know, the boiler is going to be $80,000 a piece. Five years down the road, inflation, and everything's going to be, it's going to be a $120,000 job. But they're not just doing equipment that's in need of repair. They're doing the buildings. Too. Yeah. Okay. They're going to be saying, you know, Nina needs to be tuck pointed. Your windows need to be replaced. Um, the roof has got 15 years worth of life left in it. Um, those kind of things, yeah. Do you uh, still have a copy of, of Bernie Egan's report when you're done? You yes, that? I do. Um, if you ask me to put my hands on it this minute. No, not um, this minute, but I would like to. You, you, I could probably find I'd it in like 30 minutes. That. Yeah. yeah. I can get you a copy of it. It was like a regular desk, wasn't it? Uh, I think I've got a paper copy of it. Okay. Like a floppy yeah. desk. Yeah. Five and a quarter. <laughs> I've got some of those at home, and that computer died. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Anything else on this that we'd like to talk about? Uh, we might want to get also look at this again next month. Uh, discussion of the 980 housing project. Um, we worked with the contractor, and because we put unit prices in the bid, we we're able to adjust the price down. Um, and to get it within the budget, um, we are going to only build three units um, and leave the trailer there. So that will give us a total of five slots that we can put people in. Um, you know, did we get the contracts out to Ryan? Okay, so the contracts are going out. We just got the revised estimates and everything um, on Friday. So we're, we're trying to get the contracts written up and get them out. Um, but he's ready to get started. And what we're going to do is we're going to get the utilities and everything to the east of the, the trailer so that when the time comes that we need to do it, um, we'll be able to just smooth out the ground for the pads and, and erect the new, the new buildings. Um, what was the total budget for that? Um, $1,060,000. And the bid, the lowest bid came at like 1,348,000. And we thought we could get six units for a million six. We thought we could get eight and, yeah. uh, and move the trailer. Yeah. We thought we could get eight units. For, and move the trailer. For the bid. Right. Mm -hmm. And so now we're down to three and we're going to get the trailer. So the trailer, so trailer is basically paid for, right? Um, or not. <laughs> we have had the trailer for almost three years now. And we've been getting paid $2,000 a month. So that's 36,000, no. That's $24,000 a year times three, that's $75,000. We've paid for the trailer twice. 
We've not paid for the whole project. The whole project was about one hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. So we recovered about half. Um, so we thought we could get it for one hundred thirty-two five a unit, and turns out the bid was three fifty-three, three thirty-three a unit. Is that it? For a million sixty for three units. No, a million sixty for eight units. I know, but that's we're only getting three. We're getting three for seven hundred eighty thousand. Oh, seven eighty. Yeah, it'll be less than the the million sixty, but we're also going to do the future groundwork for the other sites. So um, that's what. We're oh, yeah. oh, so in other words, we'll be prepared to do that. We'll be prepared as, and, as, and then 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 of course the cost would be down because right. so, it's it's going to be down a little bit. Um, we're not going to run the utilities and everything out there. Um, just because I would caution us not to do that because it depends on what happens with the 980 program. Um, it's the same thing like what we did with the jail. They wanted to build all the stuff for the expansion. And I talked them into just, let's just stub stuff out so that if we decide to expand the jail, we could do it. Had we done what they wanted to do in 2001, we would have had three more boilers and all the piping and everything there sitting for the last 20 years not being used so you know i would just to be cautious with spending taxpayers money um i don't want to go too far because if we don't if we don't come up with a project in the near future then that stuff is just going to be sitting there unused and deteriorating mm -hmm. um yeah. so we may end up costing more in the future so it's 260 for three units, including the site improvements for the rest of them. Yeah. And we thought it was 132.5 as 260. That's the only, that's double. Mm -hmm. So what was the criteria that went into your decision making then to only stay with three units versus well, come back? Well, I, I can explain that. Uh, first of all, on, on, on the doubling, um, the same thing ever with the tiny house project. I don't know, before I was elected, I was I was on the Oshkosh uh, Kids Foundation board. Yeah. And we had predicted that those units were going to go about 80000 60000 $80,000 a piece. They ended up coming in at one seventy five. So it's just all of the market's gone. Uh, on this particular project, we were up against, we have one nine eighty that's ready to come out that they were looking at in Rushford. Um, that has already been granted release. The, the clock is ticking. Um, the judge has been holding him at Sandridge until we have a place ready. So we didn't have time to kind of reevaluate the project, go back out and then um, I told Mike that we needed to get moving on this. Okay. So we get a building up as soon as possible because otherwise it gives the state authorities start looking for another place out in Rushford. Or, so they go through for more work. It would have taken too long. Then we got to get some of them up. Correct. Yep. Okay. Uh, otherwise, if we don't, if we don't have good faith in this, we now we're looking at that eleven hundred dollar day fine. Now we're looking at some yeah, other right. issues. So that and you're, you know, the uncertainty right now with where things are going to be next year. Mm -hmm. Are they adding new units? Are they going to be double next year? Or are they going to be lower? We might not need it. We'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll, I think if yeah. we do the three, um, and then at least we have the options. If we get to five and another one comes out, well, now we have the option to build another one or piecemeal if we need to instead of asking for a million dollars. Okay. Um, we, we can do that. It's a little bit more flexible. Um, I'm comfortable with it. I think the sheriff's comfortable with it. Marianne Miller's comfortable with, with the yeah. number of five. Uh, we have the one that, that should be um, being released here shortly, we hope, to make room for the other one. But there's another one petitioning right now for release, um, which would... So we gotta we gotta get working on these units. It really is just the 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 state statute, uh, the law on on nineties how it is, um, kind of has us painted in the corner here. Right. We have a our next hearing with uh, Judge Jorgensen is June tenth, mm -hmm. where we have to show. Us, I have, you know, hopefully by June tenth we'll have at least one of them pretty well on the way um, to completion. So that he can see that we're having a good faith effort. Yeah. Um, if not, um, it's quite it, it's quite possible that he would just release him to the wild, um, and then uh, you know. But I also know that there's another one following this one. Yep. That is petitioning to come out. 
Okay. If we talk to the city to make sure, because I know they would like to have that trailer out of there, make sure that they'll go along with this. Legally compliant. I know they're yep. legally compliant, yep. but they're all right. But I know we yep. went there that night for the eight and all yep. and that, and everybody yep. were all happy that it got passed. So I mean, I, I potentially the trailer might still go away okay. in the future. Right. But yeah, we talked to them so they know where you were at or the county's at with their plans. Uh, I uh, had a direct conversation with Mark. I don't but know they are seeing our revised site plan. They are. Yeah. Because you do have them there and all that. He's one that voted against it before. So, uh, yep. Yeah. So, but, uh, you know, the way, the way they passed it, and actually, they haven't, I haven't gotten a revised resolution. Um, the resolution that they sent me. Was for the total of eight, up to eight, eight. up to eight, right. and they passed up to six. Right. Um, so we're legal compliant. There's nothing in the resolution or anything else that said exactly when the trailer was going to go. Um, no, but we don't want to bloody our waters go down the road either. Right. Yeah. I think you made the right call on this. Um, my only concern is, you know. I just hope monetary policy is such that next year we're not looking at again a doubling of the units and then we can't build them or it's not going to be harder to do it. It could be less too. It depends on what yep. what happens in this world right now. I mean, it's just uh, well, up in the air. And the, these five could be sufficient for our needs. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if you look at it that way, that yeah. saves two hundred and some thousand dollars. Yeah. Um, do we have to do anything else at the uh, board level? Uh, it's all passed. Yeah. Okay. So, so why was they so? Why did they want us to move the trailer out? No, they. It's not that they wanted us to move the trailer out. What they didn't want us for to build more trailers. They oh, okay. 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 All right. Yeah. 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 I, yeah. I understand that part of it. So they're happy with us leaving that trailer out there, okay. and then we can build the. I don't know about happy, but they understand. <laughs> like. <laughs> The happy part's not there. The happy part's not there, but they understand. <laughs> they understand the situation. Well, yeah. I mean, it's... Yeah. That's the point. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Hope we get some sanity in this uh, in this economy where we're not going to have hyperinflation going forward. I mean, it's just... Well, I answer it out. <laughs> huh? Well, yeah. 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 Well, I mean, there's a lot, there's there's a lot, out. There's a lot going on right now. We're going yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, it's um, the supply chain. We're still having problems with it. Right. Yep. So you know. Well, that's why I asked about the elevator thing because you know, yeah. uh, three weeks. That's pretty darn good. I mean, if that it really happens, it it depends on the products and the time that you place the order. Um, the the water heaters for for Parkview, three week delivery. The chiller for Nina, forty two to fifty weeks. Wow. So you know it depends on on what the product is, what the product is, and what the demand is. Um, it's going to be it's going to be interesting. It'd be a warm summer. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Anything else, gentlemen? Let's move on to the shelter care fund. Um, we're making the repairs and upgrades to it. Um, it's in operation. It's working fine. Um, not really a big maintenance burden for us right now, um, but there are some things that we had to do just to make life a little bit easier for them. Um, and then, you know, we're working on that list of stuff that we've got to get done to, to make it worthwhile for us. Um, Can we discuss the Nina project at all, or is that not, um, not what's so not on the agenda? No, I can bring it up during my report. But well, you know, it's it's a, it's another shelter care building, so it's really part of the topic. Mm -hmm. um, Human Services is looking at um, they they have another building that they are leasing out that is being sold uh, sold out from under us. Mm -hmm. So they will be they are looking at um, a possible purchase of that building. Um, we've gone up there and took taken a look at it and. Actually, I think that building's better in better shape than the one on Harrison Street. Really? Um, yeah. 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 <laughs> I thought the indication was split, right? You had the 
You've been there. You've seen it. Yeah, we've been there. Um, Cosmetics I, and bones are a different things. Yeah, the the roof yeah. the roof over the garage needs to be replaced. Maybe some painting inside the building, mm -hmm. some carpeting down the road, but everything else, it all looked pretty good in better shape than I think um, Harrison Street did. Mm -hmm. So I think we're okay. Should we be going to see that one on tour? Well, I'm sure it's um, coming up for both. It might be hard because it's an active site. Yeah. Um, when we went up there to take a look at it, um, we kind of did it on a minimal intrusion basis because it it will if if we have a whole lot of people trooping through there, it may make the contractor a little nervous. Um, and it may make the kids a little bit nervous. This one is for um Actually, I believe it's for longer term care for um, older kids, teenagers. Um, but, you know, it's it's in pretty good shape. It's in, you know, we probably a little bit of sidewalk work because the sidewalk's tilted. Um, roof on the garage probably needs some work. Garage door might need to be fixed, but everything else looked pretty good. What about if we just go buy it? Um, it's on a color sack, you can probably do that. Yeah. Can, can you talk numbers on this at all yet? Um, I don't really know what purchase price Bill Coble has gotten from him, but seeing as how it's like an eight bedroom house, um, I'm probably thinking it's probably going to be two between two and three hundred thousand dollars for the building, and we're probably looking at you know maybe a hundred thousand dollars or less for, for any kind of improvements on, on the building. Uh, it's once we strip the roof off the garage, we'll have to see what kind of structural damage was done with the water leaks. Well, that's uh, certainly better than a million bucks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's just what I know. I, you know, I don't know what, what price Bill's gotten from from right. the, um, I think it's still Winnebago County Housing Authority owns it. Okay. Yeah. Under the boathouse project, changes there. there are always changes. Um, yesterday, we uh, had a meeting with the sheriff and, and Rad Keith oh. and Mike, okay. and we got down and it was, it was a good discussion. Um, to where we came up with uh, that if, if Rad Key is willing to eat any overages and any real extra costs, uh, we would move forward, but we cannot justify another penny. Um, really? Um, well, right. You're going to move forward. Well, they are. They have agreed to eat all extra costs. There will no longer be change orders. They will come in within the budget. You know what the soils is? You know what the soils is. Yeah. We're going. We're going to pick up That's a tipping huge. piece, which will fit within. It's not great the funding. Yeah. It's still level. Um, but they have committed to doing it for the four hundred sixty-five thousand dollars that they bid. Um, and that we have a contract and PO with them for. Right. Well, you certainly have gone that extra mile on this. And, you know, you never know when this could be a benefit to the county if someone were ever to get hurt out on that water. And you got a boat right there and you got, you know, my only concern with the marina was it's it's exposed. And, you know, no. I know you say that there's a lot of expensive boats in that marina and the access. Is, there, there are a couple. Uh, issues here. Yeah. With, um, number one, it would have been a lot cheaper to do the marina. Um, yeah. Number two, there's no guarantee who owns that marina in the future. Um, yeah. If that marina gets sold out, now we have to look for another spot. Yeah. And you got nowhere That's to go. Yeah. Um, and I thought, well, maybe those units of DNR just built, but no, that, yeah, they're, they're not, not on they're the not, Maybe they won't so, so when is the boat project going to start then? Yeah, it's going to finish this morning. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Oh my God! Right. Wow. Let, let me ask you this: that arsenic contamination. That arsenic's a powder contaminant, right? Arsenic's a an element. Yeah, it's um, a it, it's a powder and, 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 and it Not, comes from a lot of different places. Green treated wood. Yeah. Um, is chromated ar uh, copper arsenate, and there was a lot of green treated wood around <clears throat> docks and stuff. There was a painting plant there. That um, they say arsenic comes from paint factories. Right. Um, 
There was a coal gasification plant on the other side of the railroad track from WPS um, that potentially had it. Um, so I guess my reason for asking that is if, if arsenic is an element and it's powered form really, you know, it's not a liquid, it's not, it's not like petroleum. Mm -hmm. where if the soil has petroleum contamination, you really do have to dry it out because of the benzene and all the, the liquid contaminants. You know, and if, um, here, I'm wondering why we have to ha have it dried out if it's not, you know, if it's a really a powdered element that isn't because gonna, it, it isn't gonna, it isn't gonna leach. It's in suspension in the water. In suspension yeah. in the water. So as, as you, as the soil is drained, it will leach out. It moves? Yeah. Not like a petroleum, though. Uh, it petroleum camp. floats, but your chemicals and stuff that are in the soil will leach out into it. Okay. But to me, it's just, I mean, all the soil in this county has arsenic. A lot of the wells are contaminated. The If, you know. if the arsenic level goes above four parts per million, um, it's considered contaminated. So if you have soil that is 3.99 parts per million, yeah. it's not contaminated. You can get rid of it as um, ordinary fill. I'm not disputing that we have to get rid of it, but I guess my question is why do we have to dry it out? That's not because our law. That's the so rules that's of yeah. the solid waste mechanization. Okay. Um, and it's not just yeah, our that, solid waste. That's the one thing they threw at us, yeah. though, wasn't it? I mean, yeah. they, they threw yeah. that at us, and, and that's the way it is. Right. They, we ain't well, going to get out of that one. Yeah. And I will have to say that my assistant, Paul, has beaten on solid waste enough so that we finally got a definition of what dried out would be, and it's no free water. Yeah. And so that means if there's okay. free water or um, mm -hmm. if we can't dry it out or, or minimize it, then you can add dry soil from someplace else and mix it in, oh. or mulch, or fly ash, or something to do it. Um, that would help. It also adds to the weight and yeah. cost. Oh uh, yeah. But uh, so you know, I we talked to Rackies. They have a plan on how to minimize the water. Okay. Um, so you know, that was a part of our discussion yesterday. Yeah. Part of my understanding is it can come out of the truck like a wet cow pie rather than you know dry dirt. Um, it's just that they can't have free water. So okay. Okay. Thanks. You know they wanted to clarify that. Yeah. And and, and it's I am sure it has something to do with the with the regulations that the landfills have that they can't accept this kind of soil with free water. Because if, if they could have, I'm sure they would have would have done it. I'm where would this be going? How to give me calling the dirt, right? Yeah, right, yeah. I'm really kind of yeah. I'm amazed that you guys are really right. 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 this, this, That's why it took my you know my fucking dirt. Interesting what I do too. How that all transpired, you know. Well, at the last board meeting, Brad Key wanted to come in, and we laid it on the table. Right. And we simply do not have another penny for this project. Okay. Um, and then it has to be done. But the sheriff really wants it to be done, obviously, here too. Well, one way or the other. I mean, the the the, the boat will remain in the marina this year. Yeah. Uh, while this is getting done. Um, that being said, you know, this project guarantees that we have a space for 98 years. There was a 98 year lease that we did in the city. Uh, there's no guarantee that the Pioneer Marina is going to stay there. Yeah. And access into it is an issue too until they build Ninth Avenue into, into there. Yeah. You have the housing density down there for access. Less concerning. I was less concerned on that. You're not going to build another wet boat house today. Being there's not right. going to happen. I know. That's yeah. why. Yeah, yeah okay. And, but it's but it's hard. I mean, it's a lot of money yes. for a building that isn't much bigger than this room. Yeah, I understand that. I mean, that's that it was it was really hard and and uh, it was a tough decision. I wasn't willing to go uh, a penny over, um, but clearly the board already made the policy decision, and I signed that resolution. Um, so I wanted to stick to that as long as we could get it in that amount and guarantee it. Well, I would do it, but I, I could not justify another penny. And I know. And, and Radke has a long history of of work with the, the the county as well. I mean, there was a part when uh, was the Army Corps of Engineers gave up the buoys. 
Um, and uh, Stevenson back then went to Radke, what are we going to do? And Radke helped us out yeah, yeah, to figure out with, with the buoys. And, and there's been a long history there. Okay. And, and that warranted a meeting yesterday. Yeah. Um, so yeah. we sat down and, and the, again, they were willing to eat any extra cost on this. Okay. Um, that satisfied me. Um, and that, that, that got this moving this morning. Well, I don't, you know, that you went the extra mile on this could, could be beneficial in the future. Like, again, if somebody gets hurt out there, you didn't go, you didn't get that thing done. And all of a sudden you got a huge lawsuit. That's what I think. But no, you're avoiding that by getting this done. The only thing I couldn't justify is another penny in that project. Yeah. I'm glad to hear that right to go with that because that would have been one that I would have said we don't do any more business with because they did a lot of stuff with the highway and it just yeah. hasn't turned out at all. And right. so I just, yeah. Um, whether this is well, making faith or not, I don't know. Right. What I'm That's an example of what you're talking about with yeah. this previous discussion. Okay. They're making amends to yeah. okay. do better. Mm -hmm. So, you know, okay. that's okay. good. Thank you. That's good news. Well, that's a fun example. It's a fun job. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Number 11, director of reports. Um, you've gotten the list from our, our projects. Um, I don't know. It's gotten bigger because I added in all the projects for this year. I don't know if there's anything special that you want to, to ask about. Um, we've talked about the big ones. Um, I've got a meeting with, well, I haven't set up the actual meeting, <laughs> but um, in May, the Historical Society wants to look at the location for the historical marker that I want to put it at. <clears throat> um, they wanted to put it up for, towards Y and Butler, and we're it's in the middle of a bunch of easements that we've got with the city, and the city doesn't want anything in the easements. Um, my concern is there's no parking. People will park over at Coughlin or park on the street. It's going to be a problem if they stop there. Um, and the marker is to celebrate Parkview. And I think that a better place for it to be would be down by um, the picnic plaza that we have um, where the old pavilion used to sit. And that way the residents can go out there, they can enjoy the outdoors, they can look at the, at the historical marker, the families can see the historical marker. I think it will get a lot more visibility there than it would out on on why it's safer and it's yeah, safer because we have safer. um even though butler avenue goes through that way we have parking um in front of where it would be uh placed i thought this committee went on record saying that you should just go ahead and put it there we haven't heard nothing for how many years now you've been working on this too long but you're worried about these little ones and you've got a lot bigger yeah players to be putting uh, that's true <laughs> so you know we told him that's where we're going to do it. Um, he said, can we please take a look at it before we do it? Um, which it's going to be going to be tricky now because one of the things I have a pleasure of announcing is we have filled the additional superintendent position. Um, we've promoted our carpenter into that position. Andy Last will be um, the second superintendent, which means that the guy who normally does the concrete work is no longer going to do the concrete work. But he will be um, he will be supervising the maintenance workers who will be fully capable of putting down some slab. Well, good. For it. So, you know, we'll get it done. Um, so we're looking for a carpenter? Uh, in a little bit. I want to make sure that um, he gets his feet wet and he doesn't, doesn't want to fail uh, because I'd rather have him fall back to the carpenter position mm -hmm. then have that filled and we lose him sure mm -hmm. yeah. he would be he would be a tremendous loss to the county yeah. if, if we couldn't keep good idea. In, in either position yeah um i think he's fully capable um i think he's fully on board with the goals that the county executive has the goals that i have um he's quite capable and he's looking forward to doing doing the work excellent I have a question about the lease, the USDA lease. So uh, make your day here. That is, um, we finally got all the revisions done on the drawings and the bid package. Mm -hmm. And last week I sent that off to our rep in DC to have them look at it and say, are you happy with this? Yeah. Because I need to go out for bid again. And it looks like it's going to come in over what you all had 
authorized. Mm -hmm. So that means that we have to come forward with a, a budget transfer for the additional funds yeah. so that we can get the construction done so that we can recover the costs in the lease. Um, and the lease would still be a three year firm and we would recover all of our construction costs over the three years mm -hmm. um, and be made whole plus our maintenance costs. Yeah. So it's in their hands, have not heard back from her. Um, how long have they had it? Uh, we can, we, maybe a week and a half. Um, I can't remember exactly when I sent it to her. Um, but we did talk to um, one of my counterparts, talked to one of my guys, um, and they said that Fond du County took 17 years. So, no. Uh, <laughs> out of Gaming County took two years. So we're right between Fond du Lac and out of Gaming County. It's about two years now. You're closer to out of Gaming than Fond du Lac. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully they will bless it and they won't come up with any changes at the last minute. We'll be able to go off the bid. We'll get it done. Everybody, everybody will be happy. Um, Do we have any leverage here? Can yeah. Write that to somebody else. No. I don't know if they would rent it to somebody else. Um, and, and it's not renewing the lease on our end. It's crossed my mind a few times. We put a lot of man hours into this. It's, it's getting a little uh, ridiculous in, in my mind. Um, that being said, we, you know, we, we need to be open as far as how we're laid out. Um, and the current boardroom um, is is nice, uh, but as far as technology, it may, maybe it isn't. You know, and and maybe that would be somewhere for us to consider. Uh, a boardroom that's actually dedicated to the board instead of a shared use. Um, I do know with our clerk's office right now, it, it can be uh, tricky um, bringing in our equipment and then getting rid of our equipment so it can be a court. So it would be a place that I would consider uh, an option for uh, a boardroom if we were going to redo a boardroom that had the technology we needed that would be solely allocated to the county board instead of having the, the share of space. Well, there, there are other options out there. All right. But is having USDA in that location beneficial to the county? It's beneficial, I believe, to farmers for, you know, an agriculture to have that in the same building as um, land and water. Uh, yeah. Tom, would you agree with that? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, but at, at what cost? I mean, they, they need to agree. They need to at least give us guidance of what they want. And I think that's the part that's been frustrating is yeah. what they want and it keeps changing and changing and changing. Yeah. Now the staff themselves are great. I was, they, they work wonderfully yeah. with land and water. Sure. Um, it's the sure. decision makers on top um, that I think is, yeah. is it, it's in water. Water. waters. Um, if you talk to the local staff, they didn't want any changes. Um, but some of the last changes that they've got, they wanted us, we had to put bollards around the gas meter. Um, so that nobody can drive into gas meter and cause the building to blow up. Um, they wanted a drop box for after hours stuff. So we had to clarify, you know, we could put it in one of the windows and be cheap, but now it's not accessible to people because with wheelchairs or anything. So we have to find something that is accommodating for people with wheelchairs and minimal cost. So we're, we put it into through a wall that now on the inside is in one of their offices that they've got. So it's like, you want it here. And if you don't want it here, then now I've got to put sidewalks in to, to get it to be accessible. Um, they did want it inside the building because it has to be accessible when the building's locked. Um, they went through, they, uh, we had to do a light study for the parking lot to make sure we had enough light for them to get out to their parking lot. Um, you know, they had their IT person come there and they said, oh, well, now we need this patch block to move from this side of the wall over to the other side of the wall. So we've got all <laughs> that put together true. into a bid package now and in the drawings. And I put that in their hands and said, you know, this is your last kick at the cat. Can you just say that this is what you want? We'll go up for bid. I'll finish all my paperwork. We'll get it into you. And then 
we can get this final up. They have an answer there. Yeah. And, and it's not an issue of rent. They're willing to pay the rent. They're willing to cover our costs. Yes. Mm -hmm. They're willing to do all these things. They're just not willing to agree. The, so what's the the, what, the what they want. want. Yeah. Right. So. Well, what happened with the last one was um, we we got it all. I just had some. I transposed some numbers on one form, and then they looked at it and said, "Oh, well, our requirements have changed in the meantime since we started that." So that's when you know we had to get in touch with the Department of Homeland Security and everything else to to take a look at the building and and blessing. Mm -hmm. So we've got those all incorporated now and. Hopefully they will just say yes, go with this, and I can go out for bid, get the dollar amounts, um, run it through the county board if I need to, finish up my paper, then have John sign it, we submit it all, mm -hmm. and then we can get it going. Which we thought we've done twice already. Yeah. yeah. And you know, and, and the reason why I'm saying the prices would go up is because in the meantime I've lost my plumber. So the plumber was going to do the drinking fountain work and some of these other things. Mm -hmm. Now that has to be part of the bid. Um, so, <laughs> okay. Uh, moving on to the last page, the UWO. We're talking about the UWO Fox Cities. Yeah, Fox Cities. We are still in uh, flux on that. We are waiting for our Erie County admin staff. Uh, to reach out to us, we put a couple. Oh, of they still haven't yet. They still haven't yet. Well, there's a meeting on there. Is there? Yeah, I think yes. Yeah. I, but yeah. don't have it on my calendar. It, it's a board of trustees meeting. Yeah. Oh, well, board of trustees, board of trustees meeting is is not separate from what you're talking about. Correct. Right. We are waiting for. Uh, out of gaming's finance um, and their corporation council to get together with with us and UWO to negotiate the MOU. Um, we called the out of gaming's court. We have made multiple calls. No, I'm not going to response to that. I'm I'm going to probably surprise John here. I don't know if you all have seen the news from WLUK yesterday. No, what was that? Um, it was about the two year schools. Yeah. There's an article that actually was sent. I should probably forward it to you guys by the chair of the trustees. I got asked. Uh, Did you get that? Yeah, I, I was asked to comment uh, on it, and I was not going to give. I, I didn't comment. Yeah. Um, I, I don't think it's right to, mm -hmm. to talk about it until we sit down with UWO and figure out what we can work out for an MOU. And how to get county hopefully. Right. And we you know. Negotiate in open air. Well, Tom Nelson spoke out in that debate. They both did. They both did. And and he's he all he said was that the nature of you know what it is to go to college is changing. What did he mean by that? I think that's exactly what he means. Uh, the enrollment is now right. But does that mean that, that you know? The original idea like well the Washington County plan that was a non-binding resolution that they passed down there. The, well, I can't speak to that. Yeah. I can only speak to our facility. The right. original uh idea of two-year campuses was for students that may not have grades that qualify to be in a four-year school or can't afford to go to yes, that's the main had an ability to go to a, to a place um that, that was more affordable that, that gave them a chance. Yeah. For the first two years, get your elective done and go to UWs. Right now, as far as I know, uh, the UWO Fox East campus is, is really one of the only ones, and the Fox uh, Fond du Lac campus are the only ones still committed to that mission. A lot of the other two-year schools are moving to engineer degrees and four-year degrees, and they're doing something different. Well, I don't know if I agree with that. Um, so as long as we're willing to commit to that, I'm still willing to. To look at an MOU and then see what we can do, but the right to have caution, the right to have concern. Yeah. Um, if, at the end of it, if um, and I don't believe uh, UWO has any um, any desire to pull out of that campus. And they have operational authority to make decisions on this project, correct? No, no, on the MOU, like I mean, on the, the uh, on, the, on the MOU, right? Yes, yes. The border regions granted Chancellor of it. 
uh, the authority to negotiate the MOU. But it seems that, that the argument that Ottawa County keeps making is we want to talk to the regents about this. A little history in Ottawa County. I don't know if you've ever looked into the Tri uh, County Ice Arena. Um, I am not going to allow them to leave us holding the bag solely. Okay. There is no way that this county can afford to assume all right. facility costs um, at that building. That's that's not going to happen. Um, I'm, I'm not very, I'm not too concerned that they haven't reached out to us. It 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 will happen. Okay. Um, but in the case where they try to back out and leave us holding the bag, we're going to fight. We're going to fight hard. Well, they own the they own have the property. They have a responsibility to. You know, try County Ice Arena. Yeah, right. I don't know the history on that. Well, yeah. that would be one to look <laughs> into. Right. Yeah, yeah. But that used to be, well, Tri County ended up being one county. We still own the building. Uh, there's six years left on the lease mm -hmm. for it to go to Appleton Ice or whoever uh, has the lease. But that used to be between Outagamie, Calumet, and us. Um, and we ended up, Calumet backed out, Outagamie backed out. And then we are on the hook for the building solely. So it started off as a collaboration and ended up with us holding the bank. And I'm not about to let um, our taxpayers to have the sole burden on that. Even if well, you're assuming that it's going to maintain an op in operation in in occupancy. I'm under the assumption it's going to maintain operations. I'm under the yeah. assumption that Allegheny County is going to uh, negotiate good faith. Yeah. Um, and not try to, to, to leave. Okay. You know, that's my assumption. Uh, so so they just got the power to do that? Well, it's one of you. You have the power of the board to say we're out of this game and oh. and we're not going to fund it anymore. I mean, and, and that's the way it should be, right, Tom? Right. I mean, that's 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 why we elect people uh, to the county board to represent citizens. Well, because it's essentially this whole thing, you know, it's just like the kitchen thing and everything else. I mean, is it is it going to pay off in the future? Well, and, and that's the question because you know, just like you said, enrollment's down. What was the investment in, in the facility itself originally? I mean, not much, right? We were deeded that for a dollar. There's some parcel that we paid a hundred or two hundred for in Jason. And then, of course, the engineering building, but the original facility, I mean, there's a huge windfall waiting there. It, it, if it's ever at a point where it has to be sold. I don't think it's a wide open. I think there's right. value there. Well, you've got to find a, a buyer. Sure you do, but, right. you know, it, that's it. I think you're going to wait. Yeah, I, I think yep. I'm thinking the same thing. Yes, yeah, yep. so let's move on from that. Is there anything else on the, the uh, schedule that you may have an interest in? Anything that uh, I may have missed? I think we should do. No. Uh, I'm, I'm talking about this, this piece. Oh, that's still. We're still oh. doing that. And, uh, is there anything else you want to talk about? Okay. No, we're just moving right along. I okay. apologize if I held that up okay. too long. Uh, the income statement, anything? Jumping out at anybody there? No, yeah, just snow removal this year. That's yeah. been a real killer. Um, mm -hmm. Now that highways is back to full staff, um, well, Bob and I will be talking about that, that yeah. we can get them back in doing our parking lots. Okay. Um, they do it faster, better, and definitely cheaper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. We made the policy decision last year to make sure we could focus on roads. You know, so that's all. Um, I'm still gonna have to talk to John because I'm still, you know, my snow crew is still 50%. So I can't, you know, I can't burn them all, you know. Um, so we're gonna have to be creative on how we do snow removal next year. Okay. All right, suggestions for next meeting. Well, I, I would say we go with just Everything that's on here that we already discussed. Um, yeah, even the boathouse that's held in 980, building assessment study, I think we should discuss that again. Well, the shell repair. And see where the elevator's at. What's that? Shell, shell repair will be on this, this document next month. Uh, yeah. I think that's going on. So I think we can take that off. 
Unless you want to talk about new shelf care if it comes up at that time, that would be the only thing. Yeah, that would be a good idea. idea. If it comes up. That will be up to the chairman and uh, well, you know, that'll be up to Bill and, and the Human Services Committee. If they, they, they get involved in yeah. that, so yeah, mm -hmm. if, they, if they decide to move forward with it, then um, it'll definitely come before you guys. Um, if they have different options or whatever you're looking at, um, okay. I'll let you know. Next meeting is uh, May 8th, 9 a.m. May 8th, 9 a.m. No, I'm sorry, it's a lot. May 23rd. May 23rd. Yeah. Let's see, three, four. I'm looking for a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion that we adjourn. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. So, when I, well, I, I,